if you enjoy a good walk in the countryside particularly, uh, then today the Ramblers are actually launching a campaign asking you to take a slightly different route to usual and head down a public uh, path that's fallen into disuse. They say there are thousands of untrodden footpaths which could be lost forever unless people start using them. And we only have until 2026 to get people walking down them so that they can stay in public use. Uh, to explain in a bit more detail, is uh, Jack Cornish from the Ramblers. Jack, just just explain how this works then, because you're saying that you know those that people aren't using will you won't be able to uh, count them as as public um, footpaths then. Sure. So the the routes that we're we're talking about today are um, the historical rights of way. So they are routes that people, they're paths that people have used over over centuries. Um, and when the official maps were were drawn up of our rights of way network uh, back in the 50s and 60s, um, they were accidentally or, or you know they were left off the maps. And so even though they're rights of way, people don't know that they can actually walk down them because they won't appear, for instance, on your on your ordnance survey map. So, so how many walks are we talking about? Is I mean, is, uh, do you have a rough idea? So there have been some estimates. Um, one of them, which is that there's at least ten thousand miles of missing rights of way across England and Wales. Um, and to put that into context, that's about uh, eight or nine percent of the of the network. Um, I suspect that uh, that, that is uh, uh, an underestimate, and we're working. Um, with the public to try and find where those routes are and so we can actually find out how many of routes uh, are, are lost from the maps across the country. So so give us an idea of what you exactly want people to do then. Sure, so we've um, we've created a guide to uh, finding lost rights of way on our website. Um, so if you go to ramblers.org.uk um, forward slash don't lose your way, you can, you can download that guide and it just takes you through some uh, some ways of finding these lost rights of way by looking at old maps online, um, by looking for clues in the landscape. You can you can find where these lost rights of way are, and you can tell us about them, and we can we can make sure that we'll look at them and and see if we can uh, claim them. Um, are there sort of areas you know even around here in Leicestershire? I mean, we've got some beautiful countryside, and we've got some you know great places where people ramblers can go. Are there sort of areas that you are concentrating on around the country? No, I mean, I suspect that in every parish, in every village, in every town or city across the country, there will be lost rights of way. Uh, there will be things that are missing from the map. So this is a, a, a truly national issue. Um, and we need to make sure that, that our network is secured for the future because we've got this one time opportunity until 2026 to find these routes and, and claim them. And if we don't do that, they'll be gone forever. And we definitely don't want. We definitely don't want that. The, what will this actually mean? There, sort of the historic rights of way. If we lose those, you know, what does it mean for us as a as a country? Sure. So, if a right of way isn't on the on the on the map, then um, there is there is no right for somebody to to walk down there, and so or to ride down there on their horse or to cycle down there, and so it mean that that they could be closed off. You could get private signs coming up, and 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 that cuts off the um, them. And I I think that beyond that um, usage, uh, there's also the important issue that these are they're a, a massive part of our heritage. They're how people have walked and, and interacted with the landscape over over centuries and so we need to make sure that they're put on the map because um, we need to make sure that that heritage is is safeguarded for the future yeah so tw we've got up until 2020 uh, sorry 2026 that's a bit of a yeah. mouthful this morning uh, <laughs> just Jack, remind us how, how people can find out more if they want to get involved and you know let you know about those some of those disused um, footpaths Sure. Yeah. So um, just go to the Ramblers website, download our guide and then uh, have a look on uh, on some of the online maps, the historical maps online. Have a look in when you're walking around you for clues in the landscape and then um, let us know if you find anything. All right, Jack, thank you very much indeed for, for joining us on the programme. That's Jack Cornish uh, from the Ramblers Association. If you want to find out more, then uh, yeah, check out the uh, website Ramblers Association.